So our scan is in progress. Got about two and a half minutes to go. And though you won't be able to see the scope, hopefully you'll be able to see the movement of the instrument. As it pans across, down and then back. across that grid that we set on the controller. Hopefully you can hear there's a little bit of background noise, but hopefully you can hear the instrument. You have to be right on top of the instrument to hear it. Again, with the mag drive, it's very quiet, virtually silent movements. But when you do have it in the scanning mode like this, you uh, you can hear the instrument just slightly. That is pretty cool for a robotic instrument. Watching it scan like this. And again, we're scanning the window on the right this time. We jumped back inside and the scan has completed. You can see the mesh on the screen and the area defined in white, outlined in white. The different colors indicate the different reflectivity of the materials. You have the stone wall. Uh, you can make out a little bit on the sides the shutters and of course the white trim around the window and then the blue areas the window panes uh, through looking through the glass itself so you're getting a different return signal to the instrument so I can say finish it logs that scan and uh, pan back over and center that up you can now make out the the point grid, the point cloud over the image there shows you exactly the points that were shot overlaid over the image. And we can go here. This will give you your image settings, image size and quality. Accept that. take a snapshot to document the scene and get an image of the area scanned. And store it. We're back to the scan control scene. So you can see if I escape back out, back to my main menu. So you can see that the scanning function is as simple as any other surveying function. The, the scanning functionality is built right into the software just as any other uh, survey task. That's really all there is to it. I should mention that the scanned points are 3D data points, just as you would get with a 3D laser scanner. They are stored in the controller uh, a little differently than you would store a conventionally surveyed point. But the data is there, and you do need Trimble RealWorks software to process and manipulate that data once you bring it in. So that wraps up the demo scan with the Trimble VX Spatial Station.